Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, you'll see a price and point comparison for the four brand new Space Marine battle boxes, and I'm also including the two that were previously released for the Christmas sets. I'll break down all the contents for each box and work out a price based on UK pounds, US dollars, and Euros. Then we'll have a look at the points values and finally I'll rate them on a 1 to 6 scale for points and for cost, add the two together and the box set with the lowest score will be the winner. For the newer boxes it did say that each of the box sets will include some upgrade sprues so I've included one set of upgrade sprues in there although it's not confirmed just how many will be available but based on the previous two I'm just going with one set which gives you two sprues. Right, let's get started. So first of all, we'll take a look at the Iron Hands March of Iron Strike Force. And this has got some great looking models in there. Real nice selection. Would have been cool to get a tank, but either way, it's, it's looking awesome with two Primaris Redemptor Dreadnoughts, one set of Primaris Intercessors, a Primaris Tech Marine and Iron Father Pharos. And then you can see in the top left, I've got the Iron Hands Primaris upgrades and transfers. That's one pack with two sprues, which will be £16. Altogether, that comes to £187, US dollars, and €245. Euros. Of course, these prices will be less, and I'll look at the price they'll actually be selling this for later on in the video. I've added up all the points for these, and it comes to a grand total of 815 points, which isn't bad at all. Next up are the Salamanders, the War Forged Strike Force. And this is going to give a totally different selection of miniatures. We've got one named character there and loads of intercessors. But all up, we've got the one Primaris upgrade transfers, Adrax Agatone, two sets of Primaris intercessors, giving 20 altogether. Then you've got one set of Primaris aggressors and one set of Primaris eradicators. Altogether, this is a grand total of £179 if it was all purchased separately, US dollars or €235. Euros. And points for these, a little bit less than the Iron Hands, coming in at 785 points. Our third box are the White Scars Storm of Chogaris. And this one looks really cool. This was my favourite out of all of them. Definitely stood out with all these Outriders and the ATVs as well. But included, you're going to get that upgrade and transfer kit. Corsair Khan is in there as the main character and the leader. You've got a Primaris Chaplin on the bike. Two Primaris Invader ATVs and two sets of Outriders. So altogether you're going to get eight Outriders. So this is really interesting and certainly fits with the narrative and play style of the chapter. Now let's have a look at the prices. This will be £202, US dollars or €265. Euros. And points wise, quite low. This will be 665 points altogether. So if you're getting this to start off, you might need to buy some quite quickly. Now we're on to the Scions of McCrag for the Ultramarines. And this one's got quite a lot of models that you'll be seeing in the Imperium magazine collection. So if you've been getting that, this one probably isn't going to be the one you want to go with. But here you can see we've got the Ultramarines Primaris upgrades, a little bit cheaper than the others. You've got the Blade Guard Veterans, Marnius Calgar with the Victrix Honor Guard, Chief Librarian Tagurius. You've got one set of 10 Primaris Intercessors and one set of 10 Primaris Hellblasters. And they're some of my favourite models at the moment. The Hellblasters are awesome and having 10 is really quite destructive. So I think they've put them together really well. Price-wise, this is going to be £176.50 if purchased separately. 293.5 US dollars or 229.75 euros. But look at the points. This is the box that goes over that 1,000 points. So if you're looking to get a 1,000 point army of Space Marines, this one does it right out of the box. That covers the new boxes, but let's look at the Christmas one that was brought out, the Bastion Strike Force for the Imperial Fists, and that consists of Tor Garadon. You've got three sets of heavy intercessors, that's 15 altogether, which will fit in perfectly with the new deployment that was shown a little while ago on the Warhammer community site. You've also got one set of Primaris Aggressors and the Imperial Fist upgrade and transfers. This is going to come in at £194.50 if purchased separately. 
317 US dollars or 262.5 euros and points wise you're going to get 675 points out of this now I'm an imperial fist player but this one didn't really stand out a lot of heavy intercessors is cool and maybe good in the new format but yeah it just wasn't that exciting for me next we've got the raven guard raven strike Battle Force. And this one wasn't very popular. A lot of people said it didn't really fit in with the play style of the Raven Guard. And it doesn't say on the website whether or not the Primaris upgrade and transfers are even included in this one. So I haven't included it in the price. And just to point out, this one and the Imperial Fist box sets are actually still available on the Games Workshop website. Now, although these aren't great models for the playstyle, they're still great models for an army. And I think having Kayvan Strike just as a good piece to paint would be fun. So he's included, you've got the Primaris Librarian and Phobos Armour, the Eliminators, two Invicta Tactical Warsuits and one set of Primaris Reavers. So before we look at the price for these here you can see I've just got the little snippet from the website showing what's included and it doesn't say that the transfers or that those sprues are included so I haven't put them into the price. So all up this is £195.50. 322 US dollars, 269 euros, and altogether 810 points. Now, when I did this for the Christmas box sets, I made a little bit of an error there on the points and the cost, so I've updated it and corrected it now. So here we've got now the prices for UK pounds, US dollars, euros and the points for all six of those sets. Now this is if you're going to buy it separately, but if we want to look at the prices we should be paying compared to the Imperial Fist and Raven Guard prices that we know are £130 each, we can look at all the different currencies now. So it's going to be £130, US dollars, 170 euros, 350 Australian dollars, 260 Canadian dollars and 30.5 thousand yen. Now let's score the six boxes based on points value and then we'll also do the same for the cost and then we'll work out which one is the winner overall. So for the points value, coming in in sixth place are the white scars. So although the models are great, the points values don't add up that high. So coming in at 665, then we've got Imperial Fists, Salamanders, Raven Guard, second place is Iron Hands, and a clear winner, the Ultramarines, just over 1,000 there, 1,010 points. So I think if you can get this for that 130, get your discount on your local game store if you can or order online, then you're going to make a great saving there. And getting a thousand points for around a hundred pounds is a really good way to go, especially if you want to start a new army. But is this a conscious decision here to get those points up high to guarantee the sell well for the Ultramarines? I don't know. Perhaps it is. For me, it's not that exciting. I'm definitely more drawn to the other box sets over this one. But I think having this difference of, it's quite a big difference, this from 345 points from the lowest to the highest, considering they're all Space Marine chapters, that's not really that cool. You, you want to be looking for a thousand points or thereabouts when you're, when you're playing really. Building up from 500 maybe to a thousand is a really great way to learn the game and to collect it. Um, but yeah, big difference there for the price point. So it's going to be interesting to see how these all sell, if this is what people are going to be basing it on. Now we've seen the points, let's have a look at the prices. So you might be looking at value for money here and this has flipped it completely around now because the Ultramarines have gone from first place to sixth place as far as value is concerned because if you were to buy these all separately that's 176.50 whereas the White Scars at £202 that's going to be the best value for money for the set. Getting this for 130 that's a great discount. £72 off already then take up to 20% off that price getting it from friendly local game stores or online and you're going to make some considerable savings there but i think it's pretty evenly spread in the middle from the bottom to the top you're looking at what's that 25 pound 50 difference so yeah but then overall if we want to be comparing the price and the points let's take the score for each box set for each of these two ways we've judged them and this is how it comes out so with the highest being last place and the lowest being first place we can see salamanders coming in there at the very bottom with nine points then imperial fists eight points ultramarines in the middle with seven tying with the white scars then in second place, we've got the Iron Hands. But in first place, big surprise, it's the Raven Guard box set. 
When I first saw these new box sets, the four new ones revealed on the Warhammer community site, I thought the White Scars was going to stand out, maybe in points and price, but I got that completely wrong. They were better on price, so but at points, they came right down the bottom. So interesting to see them in the middle, but I think they're going to be really popular out of all these different ones. I certainly don't see the Raven Guard being that popular, and so for having that in first place with combined value of points and cost, yeah, I was quite shocked by that. But there we go, now we've compared all the prices and the points for these six Space Marine chapter box sets. I'd love to know what you think and which one stands out the best to you. What are you more interested in? The price savings or the points that are included for the £130? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as soon as we get the other chapter boxes released and previewed, I'll be doing the similar price point comparison so you can check that out and hopefully that will help you decide which one you'd like to add to your collection. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you did like it please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one and don't forget to hit the notification bell too to join me here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. A big thanks to Tabletop Star for supporting the channel this month. Check out their website, the link's down below in the description. This is a great place to meet people in your area who like to play games as much as you do. So really awesome idea. And of course, a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for being there right from the beginning, helping me to keep going with these daily videos. If you'd like to join the Patreon supporters, that link's in the description there down below too. I'd love to see you there.